Well, once again, I'm out there making it another great day and I found a place called Pickers Paradise on Park. It's on Park Avenue here in Pinellas County. We're gonna go inside. I love looking at these kind of places. Once again, I've almost lost my voice and I don't know how. It just kind of goes in and out when, you, when you're a talker, you're a talker. But uh, we're gonna go in here and check this place out. A lot of stuff on the outside. A lot of stuff on the inside. I mean, Fred Sanford, look out. We're gonna go check out Pickers Paradise. It's coming at you right now. Well, here we are, Pickers Paradise on Park. We got a big old pineapple on the door, and they say they are open. We're gonna go inside, check it out. Well, we are just inside Pickers Paradise here on Park. It says, Welcome to Paradise. We're gonna go walk around and check it out. Here is an old vintage Winston cigarette sign. Tin metal. You just don't see these anymore. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have this at Zach Thermos. This is when they made them really, really good. And uh, my dad had this thermos and carried it to work. But they have this vintage thermos by Stanley, a lab. Here's one of those old time adding machines. That is vintage for sure. I think they use uh, smartphones now. I have found one of those Instamatic cameras from years ago. A lot of old vintage, vintage cameras here. Oh, now there is a classic, classic film projector right here in the box. Yeah, come down and get that if you're wanting to redecorate your rec room. I have found a big water bottle filled with bottle caps. Nothing but bottle caps in that. Somebody collected bottle caps. Here is an old vintage clock. That kind of looks like the one that might have been on Gilligan's Island. I'm not sure. What all will we find in here today? All right, I think I see a Halloween section here. Here is Freddy Krueger and a pirate and uh, all kinds of Halloween decor here. Now these are probably collectible. This right here, this Apollo 14 set of glasses. Set of Apollo 14 glasses. Well this right here, this is absolutely nuts. My mom had one of these. I I remember this uh, big old nut made out of a made out of ceramics. Did you put I guess you put nuts in it, but uh, she had one. I kinda like these mugs here, these sailors. I guess one may be a shipmate and the other looks kinda like a pirate. Right here is a big old barrel to put your cookies in. Have a barrel of cookies. They have a big telescope here. That's pretty cool. You can also be vacuuming while you're looking at the stars. They have some vintage oil cans back here. Some of them have seen better days at Quaker State one there. All kinds of little nooks and crannies. Here's another little room with just all kinds of stuff to look at. You could be looking in here a very, very long time. Now we're talking. I remember these. These are hard to find, these rotary dial phones. And right here is a vintage rotary dial phone. They have everything in here. They really don't give a hoot what kind of items they got. Uh, they have a lot. Found an interesting pig here. It's one of those, I guess, chalk ceramic type made pigs. Needs a little paint job done on him, but He's ready for a uh, pickup. Here's a really cool little railroad crossing light up. That, uh, the lights blink back and forth. That's pretty neat. Put that on your desk. They have miscellaneous wood pieces here where you can buy those by the bag if you're needing wood pieces. Well, I have seen a lot of moonshine jugs. I have one at home. Here's a moonshine jug, but it's also a cookie jug this is a cookie jar. Now that, that's pretty cool. I am trying to figure out what this is. I'm thinking it might be a beverage 
dispenser, but it's got a bowling, looks like a bowling ball on the bottom. We're gonna step outside now and walk over here to the other building. I'm gonna check out some things outside first though. Some very nice um, lights, pole lights, I guess, who would go on the side of a house or out in the front of a gate onto a house. Those are kind of nice. I found some old gumball machines. I guess you could put peanuts in it too. But uh, it's like one is missing the lid, but it's operational. This is the front of the store. It says antiques, uniques, collectibles, vintage, and more. There's an old RC Cola shelf. Pretty neat. Some old uh, aerial road signs, Marlboro sign. And a lot of ladders get to a step ladder right here. I don't know if you would use this as a planter or what. It looks like a car. It's got steering wheels on it. And uh, maybe it's kind of a play thing for the kids. I'm not sure. We're going to go inside of the second building called Pickers 2. As if building one was enough. This caught my eye. These old Mountain Dew bottles. The old 16 ounce Mountain Dew bottles. I remember buying these when I was a kid. Oh wow, does that bring back memory, the feel of that. And that was the best soda uh, when it was in the glass bottles like this. You put that back in the back of the fridge and it gets a little bit of ice in it. And the taste in the glass bottles was much totally different than what it is now. It doesn't taste the same to me. But classic Mountain Dew bottles right there. I have found a set of drinkware that I I kind of think these are very unique because these glasses are like a square type thing and it's a beach theme and they've even got little small ones as well to go with it. Here's something else that's caught my eye, these decanters and I believe these are the Jim Beam genie bottle type decanter is what it looks like but they're, they're a, more of a clear and they got that handle on it. I actually have a genie bottle myself uh, from the series. And it was a it was like a decanter, the actual I dream of genie bottle. And they do have some furniture and stuff here. If you got a little uh, Florida room, beach beach room, you can come here and decorate that. I have found some more Mountain Dew bottles, but this time I don't remember this bottle. I, I remember the slogan where it says "You who Mountain Dew, it'll tickle your innards." And I, this one was probably about going off the shelf when the one I just previously showed you uh, was coming on the shelf. Uh, this is the original Mountain Dew logo when they had the old hillbilly on it. I thought this room only went straight back, but it goes over into another room over here and then another room back this way. Quite a bit of stuff in this, this uh, building too. Ooh, I see something cool back here. Here is a gigantic traffic light. Ooh, I'd love to have that. Uh, that is, that's awesome that they have a traffic light back here. This wall right here is the nuts and bolts of this place. Literally, see all the nuts and bolts in the jars? Kind of holding the place together. Once again, I'm monkeying around, checking another place out. That's a cool light. Kind of, uh, Go bananas on that one. They have some dolls here. Is it Chucky? He kind of looks like Chucky, but uh, before he went evil, I guess. They have some vintage oil lamps here. These are the old timey ones, not as old as the one I have. Mine's late 1800s. I have one, an old oil lamp. Uh, the base part is what is the old part of it. They have a bunch of books here I've found called The Mysteries of Mind, Space, and Time. And when you walk in this shop, it's sort of a mystery of mind, space, and time. How eerie. They've got skeleton decor everywhere I look. Here's more skulls looking at me. Even more monkeying around here. Monkey playing a ukulele with a grass skirt on. He's doing the hula, I guess. Well, I found something here I've never seen before. Skunk dice game? And Robot Sam the Answer Man. Uh, 
probably before my time, I have found it's a jigsaw puzzle, but it's it says Ohio Radio Jigsaw Puzzle. Um, obviously, it was a radio show, but back in Ohio, so Ohio was a gas station. So I'm finding this. I don't remember this one. This looks like back in the 50s before I was born, but some classic stuff here. Oh, I just now noticed this is an old vintage chewing gum machine. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen one that looks like this. I first thought it was a cigarette machine, but uh, it's a pretty compact, small machine. Probably, I would guess, the 60s. Well, this has been fun here at Picker's Paradise on Park. Didn't see Fred Sanford, but I did talk to the owner and his son-in-law. Very nice guys. And um, they are open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6, and Sunday, 11 to 5. So check them out on their website. Go to their Facebook page. And uh, they have a lot of stuff, a lot of inventory going in and out constantly. They're open here all the time. Uh, some interesting, unique stuff from years ago. You can look in here for a long time. I've been in here for a good hour or two myself, and it's been fun. And uh, normally when I'm out shooting these things, Sonny Schroeder calls me on my, my phone. He has not called today, but I am expecting a call any time this weekend because I talked to him Thursday, and on Thursday he said he would call me this weekend. So probably sometime while I'm out, he's probably gonna call me. Um, but I'm getting busy with that. Uh, a lot of people interested in appearances from Sonny Schwer. We, me and him's pretty busy on the phone. And uh, uh, I've had a lot of people contacting me here lately. So if you want to get a hold of me, get a hold of me. You can go to our website, uh, SonnySchwerronline.com. Shoot me a message. Grab my phone number there. Give me a call. And uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, a lot of things coming up. Um, uh, John Schneider's got his Bozar coming up on December 7th at Holden, Louisiana at John Schneider Studios. You can get your tickets for that by going to johnschneiderstudios.com. And uh, that's going to be fun. He's going to have his Christmas lights. They're going to have a Christmas concert. Alicia's going to make it snow. And uh, I got a link uh, there in the description for a little promo about that where you can go get tickets and all that. So that's going to be fun. Uh, check out his new movie trailer, Christmas Cars. Uh, that is going to be released and ready to go in the mail uh, to those who have pre-ordered. On uh, He's calling it Orange Friday, which is really Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving. Go on his website and uh, pre-order John Schneider's Christmas Cars. He will appreciate that. And... Um, I'm excited for it. It's it's going to be a good good film. Um, we're going to go out there, try to find some more unique spots to go and explore. Between uh, takes a hazard cast calling me on the phone, which they're my friends, so I'm going to answer it. It's uh, it's it's good to have good friends like that, and uh, it's good to get out and enjoy the day. And even though it's hot here in Florida. Summer has ended everywhere but Florida. Summer never ends in Florida. It, uh, I think they said 115 heat index today. And uh, I'm not looking forward to that. But uh, it was around 92 degrees, a record high, I guess. But anyways, keep going out there, making it a great day. Because you deserve it.